Happy Friday, folks. Just doing a quick update. These two are looking uh, I just I'm liking the body language more and more. She's really starting to show a uh, pink belly, which is a great sign. She's really starting to color up. Um, I'm not really happy about the plants in here, and let me tell you why. Um, and I and I need to do a water change. I usually do weekly water changes on on the big tanks, but. The thing that I was worried about, let me show you, and I'm going to get more into this, but I'm kind of seeing some uh, some yellow leaves, whoop, let me get my finger in this, in the window, there's some yellow leaves right here, the other thing that's going on, she's kind of hungry, I need to feed her, um, the other thing that's going on is, is I'm noticing al algae or algae, however you prefer to say it. Um, and these leaves and that's really kind of a bad sign and what happens is algae really kills your plants they get on the leaves and it's really almost like just uh, if you can imagine taking a can of spray paint and uh, spraying it on a plant in your yard or on your grass it keeps the plant from getting uh it, it blocks out photosynthesis. So uh, I really wanted to just talk about the plants today and what really inspired me to talk about the plants is this lace plant just keeps, th this tank is a 120, so that's uh, two feet deep and two feet tall and uh, this thing's just booming. As you can see, it's kind of, uh, curling right here um, kind of got a, a a helix type kind of curl there and then this plant it's got new growth right here and then right there but what I wanted to talk about really quick is um, see I've got some algae issues in here and where I really noticed it, I didn't mean to spook the buzz mic there, where I really noticed it was, was like, you know, Anubias are just, you could, if there's any plant that you could probably paint and it survive, it would probably be Anubias. But if you notice, like, the new growth, these leaves are really booming because there's no algae on it. And, by the way, look at this Rickia flutens. That is the weirdest plant. That's what it looks like. And if you go look at the original videos, but that's that's how that tends to grow. And it's probably going to break loose and float to the top. But it's the same plant that I've got carpeted. Um, here's what it looks like. Whoops, sorry to shake there. This is what it looks like uh, right in here. It's just kind of almost a moss when it's up on top. Um, and there's, there it is there. And this is glossostigma on top of um, the Rickia flutens. And the Rickia flutens actually acts as, as a carpet for uh, the glosso to anchor to and grow, grow out of, which I've been really happy with. And, the, and then it totally hides the plumbing. That's just the uh, outtake uh, and the intake for... Um, a flu ball canister that's tapped under the bottom of this. This is this is just a studio tank. That's uh, it's a studio six hundred. But anyway, it, the the thing I love about this tank is the sliding rail and this uh, light fixture. So I can just move it. Watch, you'll see. So I can totally change the look of that tank just by sliding this light with one hand, and it's locked in a rail system, which is really nice. So. Um, kind of happy about that. All right, I didn't mean to tangent, but I really want to talk about plants. And there are plants that you get that based, even in the same tank, based on certain characteristics of where it is in the tank, it's going to look totally different. So let me show you an example. I've got a perfect example. If I get these guys to all move, 
if you look right behind them, see that long leaf plant that's, that's really long? It's trying to get food and it can't get a lot of sunlight back there. But that long leaf plant, and it's, and it's actually not doing good justice here, but that, it, it's narrow and it's not a dark, bright green. That's star grass. It's the same plant right here. It's the exact same plant right there. And notice how I showed you the Rickia flutens, the carpet up on top, as well as how it's growing here. And one other thing I want to show you, see the root, let me get that glare out. But if you can see the root, the roots on this baby tear are going to down to here. The roots on the glosso are maybe 20% as deep. And so the fastest growing plant in this tank is the plant that's getting the most food. And it's the one with the roots because they're all getting the same amount of light. But what I really wanted to talk about, because I get this all the time, and uh, I'm going to try to do a chart. But, you know, it, I know a lot of you guys subscribe to Dustin. Um, but to me, it's really about balance for your plants. And, you know, you got your plants over here. They need to grow. But you, you've got food. And basically, the, the different types of food you're going to give them, light, they're going to get it from the water. So like th these, believe it or not, this lace plant with these vents right here, this plant's not supposed to do good in a tank that's that warm. The reason it's doing so well, it's got great water flow right here. There's a lot of plants. You won't get good results out of them unless they have water flow. And then look at this. This star grass right here, same substrate in the front. This has done a whole lot better growing than this star grass right here. Same substrate, same bright light, same timer, same tank, difference, more water flow, okay? Just trying to get you guys to notice some things. So, um, the balance that people talk about, if you mess with anything here, uh, and you, you push this down or you take it off well anyway you really want equilibrium um, but if you if you have your lights on too much you kill your plants you have algae issues and so you're better off with little light than too much that's usually a rookie mistake because you want to enjoy your tank you want to see it so you have it on all the time water quality if if my water's not clear and and the, I'm just trying to think how to describe this. Water quality to me is a must for one major reason. If this, if, if this water's not clear, the light can't get through it. I've never seen a great planted tank by anybody where the water is not crystal clear. The big plus for that is a clear tank means two things. It's very well filtered, and the light is penetrating all the way to the bottom, and you're getting the maximum photosynthesis. If you have murky water, you have dirty water, the, your lights aren't going to work as well. And then you get algae bloom. You, have, you can have all kinds of issues. Clear water, big, big deal. And then the substrate, you know... Uh, some of these plants are struggling in this tank because of the substrate. Uh, I'm not getting any problems. This dwarf sage, it's, it's kind of holding on. It's just trying to find its way. But, you know, I've got dwarf sage in here, and it's just going nuts. I've got it in here, even, Eco Complete. It's going nuts. But it just takes a while for the roots to grab hold. i got to wrap this up. But the um, I just thought that was worth, worth sharing. And I really feel like, to wrap it up, know your plant, know your params, your parameters, the way to avoid danger on all this is balance. I'm going to tell you right now, the number one thing you got to be careful with, light will kill you. Too much light, too much algae, you're dead. Not enough, 
plant, the plant won't grow enough to get these roots going. So the photosynthesis is what's going to allow it to get, grow after you plant it, and it's going to allow the, ro the roots to dig in. A rich substrate is huge. The danger of a rich substrate, it can mess up your water. Organic dirt that's in this tank, the primary ingredient for that is cow manure. Think about that one. So, uh, so anyway, what a lot of people do when they, they do it dirty tank, they do a lot of water changes. What I try to do is I try to cap it with this black sand. And you can see these plants are doing really well. Everything's booming. Um, anyway, I'm taking longer than I meant to. But I wanted you guys just to kind of see this, just something to think about. Let me know what you think. And uh, thanks for watching. Um, but yeah, I've got to figure some things out in the small tank. This tank, I pretty much got it dialed in. I have an issue in this tank with actually one of my discus, which is another story. This guy's still hiding back here. But this discus right there, I'm not really happy about. But anyway, hopefully it'll get better. I just want it to come out more. So, But yeah, hey, happy Friday. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think about that. Um, that sums it up right there. Balance. How you feed the plants. If you, if you don't maintain this, they won't boom. If you, if you balance, you're going to boom. How's that? If you want your plants to boom, you want them to grow well, you got to have balance. If you try to push any one of those buttons and don't watch the others, you're going to kill the plant. So, And uh, the night cycle is just as critical as the light cycle for plants because they reverse the kind of gases that they deal with and the things that they do. And uh, anyway, hope that helps. You guys be good, man. Have a great weekend. Happy Friday. Later.